have Pastor Ross. Man of God, if you're ready, all the way from Ghana, Pastor Ross. Can you get the man of God, Pastor Ross? I can get you, sir. God richly bless you, Dr. Daniel, one more time for this great honor and privilege. Um, I don't take this for granted at all. God richly bless you. And to my seniors, Pastor Nane J and my brother, Pastor Isaac Ayesu, God richly bless you for this wonderful Bible exposition. I personally have been blessed and I will go back to the videos again. Amen. Without wasting much time, if you please, turn your Bible with me to Hebrews chapter 12, the verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, the verse 1. And I read, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I'm touching on the subtitle, Let Us. Let Us. The verse of scripture I just read makes us to understand three major things. Number one, there are things in our lives that it will take only God to take out of us. Number two, there are things in our lives that it will take the people God have sent our way to take out of our lives. And then number three, there are things in our lives it will take us personally to take it out of our lives. How does God take things out of our lives through the challenges and the situations of life that we go through? How does the people that God bring our life take away things from our lives? Bible said, iron sharpeneth iron. And so as you blend with the, the right people, they shed off certain things of your life, which means the relationship God brings your way is also paramount to the pruning and the purging of your life. And then the third one is the ones you take personal responsibility and take out of your life. And all I want to do today is to walk us through us personally taking things out of our lives. Pastor Nane J and um, Pastor Isaac Ayesu have made us to understand how God uses certain strategies to take things out of our lives. Now we are going to look at ourselves taking things out of our lives. One thing is certain in this Christian work. And it has become a major canker in the life of believers today. And that is, we blame everything, we blame everyone, we blame every circumstance for the things that we go through except ourselves. So you meet the typical Christian today and you question him, he's going to tell you, it's either he was born in a, a, a family which is not that fortunate. It is either the country he or she was born in and have leaders who are not helping them push things. It's either their pastor or, or the church they are in is not helping or the friends and family members and everybody they have around is not helping. They will tell you it's, it's because they didn't have the best of education. So everything is blamed on the outside situations except for themselves. But may I announce to you that in this year, 2023, God wants to do something with you. God wants to do something through you. And God wants to do something for you. That if you don't come to the place of personal responsibility, you will not get the whole benefit of this year, 2023. 
and I'm trusting God that by the time I am done with my session, you will come to the realization of the things that are in your life which you need to shed off. And so the scripture says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which that easily besets us, so that we will be able to run the race that is set before us, which means as believers, there is a race set ahead of us. And one thing we need to understand that nobody runs a race carrying a weight unless that person wants to fail. And my, may I submit to you that if you want to succeed in your work with God, there are certain weights you will need to personally shed off. And I'm not talking about the things that are outside of you. I am talking about the things that are with you, the things that are in you, the things that you do in secret that people don't see, the things that you do in the dark that people don't know, the things that is eating you up every day of your life, but you are refusing to acknowledge that it is there. Those are the weights that you need to drop so that you will be like enough to be able to run the race that is set before you. And so one may ask, what are some of these weights that are weighing us in order for us not to be able to be successful in this race? There are some few things I'll outline to you. Number one is the weight of self-denial. A lot of believers Accept every other thing except who they are. And let me tell you the truth. You know that you use your phone to watch pornography. That is not an outside effect. It is a personal thing you are dealing with. So know in that secret place how many times you have been masturbating in a day. It is not something outside there. It is something you are battling with. You know the number of times you 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 smoke those weed, you smoke those Indian hemp, you smoke those shush, uh, what do you call it, uh, shusha or sushi, whatever the name is. You drink alcohol little by little. The, 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 the lady you have that you intend to marry, that you are smooching in the room, the things that you are doing that nobody knows, those are the things that are weighing you down on this journey of Christianity. And God wants you today to come to the realization that these are not outside effect. These are weaknesses that are within that you would need to deal with else. You will not get the benefits of what God has for you this year. Don't be deceived by the offerings you are giving. Don't be deceived by the prayers your pastor is praying for you. If you don't lay aside these weights, it will worry you in your Christian life. As a young man, Unless you don't see a fair lady, then something is doing you. And you have this moral, this edge that you should go and talk to the lady. And the whole idea is to pull down the pants of the lady. Listen, it is a weight on your Christian life. You want to have your, your days fruitful and you, you have to go through that blue kiosk in order to uh, have a little appetite. You drink something small for you to have appetite, to eat your food. It is a weight on you. There are people today who are married, Christians married, and yet go outside their marriages and go and have affairs with other people. It is a weight on your Christian work. And so God today is calling you to make a personal introspection and realize that those things are weighing you down. Those things are slowing you down. Those things have become a weight on your Christian journey that you will need to throw away. Dr. Daniel, it will amaze you that there are Christians who are using sex toys in their marriage. There are young men, young women who are, who are adventuring into all manner of areas just to satisfy their sexual desires. My brother, these are weights on the body of Christ. It is sad that today the church is filled with so much sin 
that the world is even amazed. Why? Because the people who are meant to go out there and portray the light of Jesus are finding it more comfortable to live in the church and sin. And they cover up with their offerings. They cover up with their prayers. They cover up with their tithes. They cover up with their loyalty to their men of God. And they think they are making it. May I announce to you, it's a lie from the pit of hell. If you don't stop watching that pornography, that pornography, it will mess you up. If you don't stop masturbating, it will kill you. If you don't stop that drinking, it will finish you. If you don't stop that smoking, your life will be messed up. The grace of God is there. The anointing of God is still on your life. But these things will mess you up big time. If you don't stop chasing people's husband, it will destroy you. If you don't stop chasing people's wives, it will destroy you. Stop those evil vices because they have become a weight on you. All God wants to do for you in the beginning of this year is not to point fingers at people who didn't help you in your Christian work. It's not for you to point fingers at the church who is not able to do certain things for you, but to look into your personal life and say enough is enough. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired of carrying this burden. I am tired of carrying this load. Thank God what Bible says. Bible says when we go to God, he's able to carry our burdens and lay our burdens down. Today and today, I am just telling you, my sister, that evil desire you have only to sleep with ladies. It is a weight that is slowing you down. That evil desire that you have as a man chasing other men, it is a weight that is slowing you down. And God in this month of January wants you to take those things away. Bring it before God in prayer and say, Lord, I need help. Help me to offload this burden. Help me to offload this weight. Help me to lay it at your altar because this is the reason why you came to die. My salvation is not complete if I keep carrying the burden. My salvation is not complete if I carry, if I keep carrying this load. My salvation is not complete if I continue the way I am going. God is warning you today and God is saying his grace is available. Don't be ashamed. Listen, every one of us have had our own share of weaknesses that we are battling with. And by grace, by the grace of God, little by little, we are mastering strength to come out of it. The grace of God is capable, is capable of delivering you. The grace of God is capable of delivering you. The grace of God is capable of delivering you. There are testimonies of drunkards who have received the touch of God and no longer have appetites to drink. There are testimonies of womanizers who have encountered Jesus and the appetite to chase women are not there. There are testimonies of thieves and armed robbers who have encountered Jesus and they are no longer into those vices. There are testimonies of men and women who were into masturbation and have encountered Jesus and are no longer there. Tonight, the grace of God is available. 2023, the grace of God is available to bring you deliverance, to bring you deliverance, to bring you deliverance, to bring you deliverance. And today we are joining our faith and trust Thank God with you. That addiction will come to an end. That addiction will be broken from your life. That that addiction will be ended in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't lose this opportunity because heaven is ready to bring you that victory. Heaven is ready to offload that burden from you. Heaven is ready to lift that burden from you. Heaven is ready to give you the deliverance all you need to do today is acknowledge that I have this weakness. All you need to do today is acknowledge that I carry a burden. All you need to do today is acknowledge that I need the help of God. And help is coming to you wherever you are. It's coming to you wherever you are. You might be a junkie, but the help of God is coming to you. You might be a prostitute, but the help of God is coming to you. You might be a mother, but yet you are having external affairs. The help of God is coming to you. You may be drinking sumo sumo as a man of God, but the help of God is coming to you. Take advantage 
of this season of pruning and purging because your deliverance is here. The grace of God is available to bring you deliverance. And my brother, my sister, we are not here to condemn you. We are here to tell you the grace that Jesus Christ came to die on the cross is still capable, is still able to bring you the deliverance. You have dealt with that weakness for far so long, but tonight is your night of deliverance. Today is your day of deliverance. As you hear the word of God, don't harden your heart. As you hear the word of God today, don't harden heart in your heart. God came here today because of you. Your issue has been brought before heaven now, and heaven is on your case today, and heaven is hearing your prayer today, and heaven is hearing your cry today, and heaven is bringing you deliverance. All you need to do is acknowledge and accept the grace and the help of God. That is why we are here today, to preach to you the day of liberty, to preach to you the day of your deliverance, to preach to you the day of your salvation. Heaven is rejoicing today because your victory has come. Your deliverance has come. Today you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it said, let us lay aside every weight. This one God is not going to do for you. This one, your friends, your key people in the, in the Lord are not going to do for you. He said, let us, which means we should allow. You know, there are certain things in our lives that we have decided to shield from other people. We are working as Christians. We are behaving as religious folks. Uh, but there are things we have shielded and we don't want the grace of God to reach us. But you know that thing is eating you up. You know that thing is affecting you. You know that thing is worrying you. And to Today, God is saying, I have seen it, and I want to bring you deliverance. Allow God, break the differences, open up your heart, and let God bring you that deliverance. That addiction to pornography can come to an end. That addiction to masturbation can come to an end. That addiction to lesbianism can come to an end. That addiction, oh, Kayada Basute, the grace of God to bring you deliverance from drinking is available. Allow God to do what he has to do in your life. Because there is so much God wants to do with you. There is so much God wants to do for you. And there's so much God wants to do through you. And these weights are going to slow what God wants to do in your life. May this year end with you beating your chest and saying, by the grace of God, I came out of this addiction. By the grace of God, The struggle of many years came to an end. By the grace of God, that thing that I have been doing in secret, I I had victory over it. By the grace of God, today I sing a victorious song. And so shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So one may say, why is it so important that we lay aside this weight? Two things are clear here. He said, because we are compared with so great a cloud of witnesses. Do you know what it means? It means Apostle Paul is there clapping and hailing you on. That my brother go on and make us proud. It means Father Abraham is out there praising you and say, this is one. The one God is going to use to turn that family around. The one God is going to use to turn lives around. The one God is going to use to bring deliverance. All of these people are in glory, cheering us on. And we cannot afford to disappoint them. We cannot afford to disappoint them. Listen, there are people whose destinies are connected to you. And if you don't succeed as a Christian, their destinies will be thwarted. If you don't take God serious, it will affect their Christianity. That is why, because of this cloud of witnesses, we cannot continue in those private sins. We cannot continue in those secret sins. We cannot continue in those devilish things that we do. Today, may the grace of God come upon you. May the grace of God come upon you. Tonight is somebody's deliverance. 
deliverance. May the grace of God come upon you because there are people who are cheering you on. There are people who are happy because you gave your life to Jesus. There are people who are rejoicing because you have come to know God. Even if for nothing at all, Bible makes us to understand that when one sinner gives his life to Jesus, there is a whole rejoicing in heaven. Even if there is no man here on earth who is happy because you have given your life to Jesus, may I announce to you that God who is seated on his throne is excited. God who is sitting on the throne is happy. God who is sitting on the throne is applauding you. The angels are clapping. The elders are clapping. Everybody in heaven is rejoicing because you gave your life to Jesus. That is why in the wisdom of God, he made enough grace available. The grace to also deliver you from the snares of the fowler, he made available. The grace to deliver you from death, he made available. The grace to heal all your diseases, he made available. So also he made grace available to handle your weaknesses. So also he made grace available to handle your secret sins. So also God made grace available to handle all the things you are battling with. The grace of God is not only to prosper you, but the grace of God is also to deliver you from those secret sins. The grace of God is also to deliver you from those secret sins. And tonight I am trusting God with you. The grace of God to come upon you mightily. In that room right now, that the grace of God will come upon you. In the hotel room right now, that the grace of God will touch you. In the car right now, that the grace of God will touch you. On the plane right now, that the grace of God will touch you. Wherever you find yourself now in the, in the ghettos, that the grace of God will find you. Wherever you find yourself now in the drinking spot, that the grace of God will touch you. Wherever you are now, that the grace of God will touch you. Grace is available to take you out of that addiction. And tonight is your night. Today is your day. Behold, your salvation has come. Today, your victory has come. Today, the salvation of God has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The second reason why you will have to shed off this weight is because there's a race that is set before you. There is a race that is set before you. There is a race that is set before you. There is something heaven wants you to achieve. There is something heaven wants you to touch. There are lives that destiny wants you to touch. There are people that God wants you to reach to. And you cannot do that if you are slow. You cannot do that carrying the weight. You cannot do that carrying the burden. And my brother, my sister, the day of your deliverance is here. That God wants to shed off every weight so that you'll be able to run freely the race that is set before you. Listen, you are not alone. You are not alone. There are other people you applaud in the church who are battling with what you are battling with. There are other people you see in church that you praise and think they are highly spiritual who are dealing with the things you are dealing with. So don't look at yourself and think you are alone. My sister, my brother, you are not alone in that prostitution. My brother, my sister, there are other fellow Christians like you who are drinking. There are other fellow Christians like you who are womanizing. There are other fellow Christians like you who are masturbating. There are other fellow Christians like you who are watching pornography. But today God came for you. Today God came for you. The one listening to my voice, God came for you today. He didn't come for them. He came for you. Don't postpone your salvation. Don't postpone your deliverance. Today is your day. Tonight is your night. Today is your day. Tonight is your night. Don't postpone your salvation because there is a race that is set before you. There is something God wants to achieve with your life. There is something God wants to achieve with your destiny. There is something God wants to do with you. And you cannot compare, continue comparing yourself to others. Forget about them because their time will also come. But today is your time. Today is your salvation. That is why you are tuned in now. Today is your salvation. That is why you are hearing the word of God now. Today is your salvation. That is why you are the one listening to this message. Today is your salvation. Don't let it bypass you. Don't let heaven's investment in you go to waste because it is possible to lose your salvation. And so God will do everything it takes to make sure you are preserved. And today is that day. I pray for you wherever you are that may you encounter the grace of God that delivers. The grace of God that breaks addictions. 
the grace of God that brings total freedom. And I will here to share your testimony, knowing well that God indeed visited you in a special way, and your life will never be the same. 2023 is not only our year to shine, but it is our year to also break addictions. And God is our help. May God help you. May God prosper you. And may God deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.